Whenever you're doing it, you want to unplug the camper and then start your generator. It's not, it's got an automatic transfer switch. It will transfer automatically, but it's suggested not to have it plugged in when you start the generator. So when you're at home, just if you want to exercise the generator, just shut it off. Okay. And unplug. Okay. Good. Okay. The generator's right there. All right. Just By the storage driver's area. store. Just for luggage and stuff like that. Gas. Regular gas, regular gas. Okay. And it's a six, how many gallon? 55 gallon tank? 55 gallons. Okay. Electric cord stores way in here. When you're plugging up, you can come down through here. That way you don't have to have, you can close this door all the way. Same with sewage, you can do the same thing. Your sore hose run it right down through there. Okay. Black to the front. The biggest one is always your black tank. That's your commode. Your small one is your uh, gray water, like your sinks and showers and stuff like that. Okay, when you get to the campground, have y'all ever had a camper? No. Okay. When you get to your campground and you got your solar hose hooked up and in the ground, mm -hmm. in way, while you're camping, you leave the gray one open. Okay. That way, all you know, there's no reason to keep all that on board. Okay. So you just let all that flow right into the bottom. You know, just let it go out of the camper. You're black, you leave that closed because you're putting chemicals in the commode. Uh -huh. um, like the liquids or the packs. You want to put a couple of those in there every time you use it. Ah, uh, you know? okay. Now, when you get done camping, you come out and you close off the gray. You open up the black and you dump it. After you dump it, you let everything get out of it. You close the valve off, go into the commode. You add some more chemical to it and put some water in there with the foot pedal. And that way, when you're driving down the road, it recoats that out. inside. And it gets the blue all over the inside and keeps it smelling fresh. And then it's ready to go camping the next time. So you're never not ready to go camping. Great. Okay. Okay. And that's going to keep that's it good. smelling great. Okay. Cable hookup and telephone. Mm -hmm. um, you have a place in the rear in the bedroom where you can put a regular house phone. Okay. Because some campgrounds have a place where you can just put plug into their phone. You know, you just pay for the service. Uh -huh. uh, same with cable, you can get both those. So you want about a 10 foot piece of cable to take with you to hook up to the pole, and you want a, about a 10, 15 foot cable for the phone. Um, a lot of them are, are fading out phones because everybody's got cell phones. Mm -hmm. Even home phones. Exactly. Right. Makes it too easy for the telemarketers to find you. Exactly right. Okay, will you hold this and then you can make any extra notes? That way I can hold this steady. City water, okay. So that's an outdoor uh, shower yep. capability? That's good. City water connection. There. And below that is just storage, more storage. Oh, that's the, uh, it goes through both sides, right? Right. Okay. Let me go inside and make sure I got the water pump turned okay. on. I might have turned it off. Because we don't have the hose hooked up right now. I've got it running on pump. Okay. Okay.